Did you know your Ford vehicle may have features that can automatically help you maintain a preset distance from a vehicle ahead of you while in cruise control? And help keep you centered in your lane. One of the features that makes up this system is called Adaptive Cruise Control with Stop and Go. Let's take a look. Like normal cruise control, you still have the ability to set your cruising speed, but this version also allows you to set a comfortable pacing distance behind the vehicle in front of yours, and it can even bring your vehicle to a complete stop if needed in heavy traffic. To set a cruising speed, use the cruise control switch on your steering wheel, press on, accelerate to your desired speed, and press set, then take your foot off the accelerator. To adjust the gap setting, press the gap setting button on your steering wheel. This is represented on the information display by these bars. In fact, there are four different gaps that you can cycle through by continuing to press the gap setting button. One bar, two bars, three bars, or four, which gives you the longest gap. Pressing the button again after this point will return your gap setting to one bar. Each gap represents a different driving style and will affect how quickly your vehicle responds to changes in traffic. The information display will now show a green indicator light, the current gap setting, and your desired set speed. A vehicle graphic will also illuminate if adaptive cruise control detects a vehicle in front of you. Still with me? Great. Once activated, adaptive cruise control uses radar technology to constantly scan for slower vehicles in front of you and automatically adjust your speed to maintain the gap between. Occasionally, it may seem like you're going slower than you initially set your cruise for. That's the system adjusting the speed. Once traffic speeds up, you'll return to the speed and gap distance you preset. The stop and go feature comes in handy while driving on the highway in heavy traffic conditions. If the vehicle ahead of you comes to a stop, your vehicle can also follow down to a stop. Once the lead vehicle begins moving within a short period of about three seconds, yours will automatically begin to follow. If it takes longer than three seconds to move, you can press the resume button on your steering wheel or tap the accelerator pedal to start following the lead vehicle again. To switch between adaptive cruise control or normal cruise control, use the five-way switch on your steering wheel and the information display. Select driver assist, cruise control, then select adaptive to enable, or normal for a conventional cruise control, meaning it will not automatically adjust speed based on the speed of the vehicle in front of you. Keep in mind, once set, you can cancel adaptive cruise control at any time by braking or by pressing the cancel button on the steering wheel. Pressing the resume button will return the vehicle to the previously set speed and gap setting. Now let me tell you about lane centering. This feature uses an onboard camera to detect painted road lines and provides continuous steering assistance to help keep your vehicle within its lane while driving. To turn it on, press the lane centering button on your steering wheel. An icon will appear on your information display. Green means the system is active and applying steering assistance. Gray indicates the system is on, but inactive. Press the button again to turn it off. When the system is active and detects no steering activity for a certain period of time, the system alerts you to put your hands on the steering wheel. If you do not react to the warnings, the system cancels and slows your vehicle down to idle speeds while maintaining steering control. Any questions? Go to owner.ford.com.